Uh, congratulations to the nominees. Thanks for being here. Um, Judge Kill, let me just start with you. You're involved, I think, with a group called the Asian American Legal Defense and Education Fund. Have I got that right? Um, I, um, I did a, a couple cases with them, Senator. It's probably been 15 years at least since I did any work with them. Okay, fair enough. H have you done some fundraising for them? Did I, do I understand that correctly, or is that am I misinformed? I don't believe I've ever done any funding okay. for them. Well, uh, let me just ask you about, I'm, ask, I'm curious because of some things they've said recently, so just let me ask you about this and you can give me your viewpoint on it. Earlier this month, uh, right after the attacks on Israel, the uh, AALDEF said that it stands in solidarity with Palestinian, Arab, and Muslim communities and went on to help push out on social media a toolkit that's their word for student protesters that we've seen on our campuses, including resources, talking points, and chants for students who are pressing to end the genocide in Gaza, which of course we've, we've seen invoked by those who are calling for the destruction of the state of Israel. So let me just give you a chance to respond to that. Does that what's your view on that? How do, you, how do you read this? I mean, how do you read this statement from this group? Just, just give me your... Give me, let me give you the opportunity to respond to that. How about that? Um, Senator, I, I have not had any involvement with the group for a very, very long time. And my only involvement was representing um, restaurant uh, workers and wage and hour claims. I'm not familiar with that statement from all deaf. So I, I'm not sure that I could comment on, on that. Fair enough. Let me just ask you, does this, the, I assume that doesn't represent your views, your, your personal views the position that the group has taken here with regard to the attacks on Israel. As I said, uh, Senator, I'm not sure in what context or what, what that statement was. I haven't read the full statement, uh, so I can't really tell you whether I... Uh, well, how about this? One, one I just let you, want to give you an open-ended chance to say, with regard to the attacks on Israel, the threats on Jewish Americans, what we're seeing on our college campuses where we have some student groups out there saying from the river to the sea, Palestine must be free, which of course is a call for the elimination of the state of Israel. Why don't you just tell us what your views are on that? Senator, it's a very uh, complicated issue. Um, I haven't really studied it. Um, it is a terrible situation, uh, what is going on there. Um, and Senator, that's all I can really say what my personal views are. Well, would you, let me put it to you this way, would you condemn those who are calling for, who say things like from the river to the sea, which is a call for the elimination of the state of Israel and, and frankly the, the killing of, of Jews in the Middle East? I mean, would you condemn that? Senator, as I, as I said, um, I... No, it's a very complicated situation. It's a tragic situation. Um, I haven't studied the situation. Um, I don't know um, um, how, how I can answer that today, Senator. Um, well, because- Yeah, go ahead. Um, as a judge um, uh, and the role that I would be playing, um, my personal views of things would not come into consideration, certainly, uh, Senator, and um, I would keep an open mind uh, for all matters that come before me. And uh, that's the way that I would approach the job as a, of a judge. I totally understand that. And, I, and I'm not asking you to comment on any case. I, I just am trying to, I wanted to give you a chance to respond to this, this group statement, but let me just see if I can get you to understand your views here. Just with regard to the attacks on Israel and the violence in this country against Jewish Americans, you condemn all of that. You, you, have no truck with that, you would say that we should condemn all of that explicitly, I assume, right? I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I mean, you tell yes, me. Uh, yes, Senator. Any uh, violence here in this country against uh, Jewish people should be condemned. Okay. And these protests that we've seen where people are explicitly calling for the elimination of the state of Israel, uh, we, had, we had Jewish students at Cooper Union in New York who were barricaded inside a library for hours while pro-Hamas protesters banged on the doors, shouted at them, screamed at them. You condemn all of that, I, I assume. I'm not familiar with that uh, situation, Senator. I'm, I know nothing about it. Are you that. familiar with the campus protests that have happened all across the country? The Senate's addressed this in a, in a resolution that passed unanimously condemning that, that rhetoric of, of genocide, frankly, against the Jews. I, I'm just trying to get you to say, I hope, that you, you condemn that, you think that's wrong, One, you're against it. 100%, uh, Senator. I 
would condemn the genocide of uh, Jewish people. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mr. Fonzone, let me very quickly, because I'm almost out of time now, and there are lots of other senators who want to ask you questions, but I, I just want to ask you quickly about some work, and we follow up on written questions, but some work you've done for the People's Republic of China, different entities. Uh, you did some work for Huawei, I think, in 2018, for the Ministry of Commerce of the uh, Chinese government, and then for the, the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, if I'm not mistaken, in 2019 and 2020, another governmental entity. That was right during the Hong Kong protests. I, my question to you is, and I'll give you some more for the record, but my question for you is, did you advise that council during that time of the Hong Kong protests on messaging, on what was happening there? I mean, t tell us about your work. No, Senator, thank you for the question. I know this is an issue of interest to the Senate. It came up in my, in my last confirmation process as well. I think in general, my practice at, in private practice was focused on advising companies on American law and how American law worked. For the three entities you just mentioned, I did a small amount of work at the request of other partners, um, you know, much of it many years ago. None of that work has, had, uh, has affected my ability to give objective advice in my current role at the Office of Director of National Intelligence, and none of it would in, in, if I was fortunate enough to be confirmed at OLC. This is my last thing, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just last, last question. But did you, in 2019, 2020, at, at the height of those, of those protests in Hong Kong, which the government brutally repressed, I saw it with my own eyes, did you give the Trade Council any kind of, of advice involving issues related to those protests? No, the advice, and I, I obviously can't get into privileged uh, information, but the advice we gave was, the, the work I did was basically on advising them on issues related to my practice, which is around privacy and cybersecurity.